the first question that I get is, um, what are bots? Are they the same as RPA? What's what's the difference? Yeah, so in the Airslate world, bots are a really important part of the product and what it can do. Um, we talk about it as a form of robotic process automation. It may not be quite exactly what people think of when they hear that term RPA. Um, and that's because a lot of times people think of RPA as a tool which goes and it opens up your existing software applications or maybe a government website and it can interact with and click on that software the same way a human would. Copy and paste information, click on buttons, that kind of thing. Um, now our bots, in the same way as RPA, there are no code configurable integrations to other tools, um, but they don't impersonate a person when they're doing their work. They use the official supported APIs from the target systems that we're integrating to. Um, and the reason that's good is because by using the official APIs, the bot setup won't break when there's changes. And that's one of the classic problems with RPA. You have to keep going and reconfiguring it because you know, the website that you're copying and pasting from changed slightly and now the bot is confused. So using these APIs, we can roll out uh, system specific bots that very quickly and we have hundreds. That's the other thing is that, you know, everybody may have a different layout on their Salesforce page. So if you integrate to it by opening it and copying and pasting, that's not gonna work for everybody's Salesforce. However, the Salesforce API works the same way for everybody's Salesforce. So we can very easily integrate just using that as one example. Uh, the other piece that's worth mentioning is that our bots are not all integrations. I and mean, certainly if you just talk about the hundreds of bots we have, the majority of them are integrations. But we also have a number that automate tasks or configurations inside the AirSlate workflow. Things like uh, disabling um, the signature stamp or requiring a person to draw their signature instead of type it. Uh, some things like that also go through bots.